kill somebody. Mm -hmm. If you just retire, you don't want to fight it. You say, hey, I'm done with it. And investigation is dropped. That's just amazing. And, and to point it out, too, I mean, the, the guy who ran was a black guy. The, mur the uh, bank the robbery suspect was a, was a white guy. I mean, he yes. didn't match the description. It's just kind of like this uh, this Chris Dorner case out in, in L.A., you know, where they're looking for a black man and a different and they shoot up a car with two white women. Totally different cars, a car, not a different truck, color, a different yeah, color, the whole bit. Stuff. I mean, it's just amazing, and yet they get away with it. Why? Because we've got a legal system that is fundamentally broken. That's why I don't support the death penalty. I support the death penalty in principle, mm -hmm. but I don't support it in practice because I don't believe that people are getting a fair and honest trial. I don't believe that the juries, most importantly, the juries do not see themselves as independent of the judge's instructions as somebody who's going to sit there and and look at the facts and, and see that their job is justice to judge the law as well as the facts of the case. And you have so, in the case of some of these police uh, cases where they're not, they're not found guilty, mm -hmm. The judges can manipulate that system by withholding evidence. I mean, yes. they, they have so much leeway, and we don't have an independent jury system. It's a, it's a broken system. But let's take a look at your report here. Can we go to that report, guys? We don't have that ready just yet. Okay, we're, well, here, me, we're here at the spot where last week four Austin police officers were needed to subdue a single female jogger. The original offense, jaywalking. She was later on arrested for the failure to identify to an officer. What happened to the Miranda right to remain silent? What happened to the Fifth Amendment? What happened to the First Amendment? The freedom of speech does not also include the freedom not to speak. Let's find out what these students have to say. Hi, right, excuse me. Hi. Right. Uh, what do you think about the jogger who got arrested out here last week? I actually think it's kind of funny because I cross the street all the time. What do you think about the jaywalker who was arrested last week? I don't know the whole story, do you? I don't know the whole story, but with what you heard, do you have any opinion? Because they say, well, she was officially arrested for failing to identify to an officer. It wasn't the jaywalking charge. But just the, the police resource, do you think it's a good use of a police resource to be out here busting uh, jaywalkers, just cracking down on jaywalking? I don't know. That's sort of like, you know, do you still beat your wife, right? You, you can't really beat your wife. You can't say whether you did or not because you'd be guilty either way. I don't necessarily agree with his... Uh, comparison to beating your wife, uh, I mean, busting a jaywalker is busting a jaywalker. My thoughts are that's pretty ridiculous, but um, it was a white girl in a nice part of town, and if it was anybody else, it wouldn't have made the news. If somebody gets hit from jaywalking, then that's their problem. You don't need four cops involved. Um, I think he shouldn't have got arrested, or she shouldn't have got arrested. Why is that? Because she was just crossing the street. Right. Well, you know, the official reason given for her arrest wasn't so much that she crossed the street. It was because she failed to identify to an officer. So that means she didn't show her ID? Is that the... Well, she didn't provide the Austin Police Department with as much information as they desired. I mean, are you familiar with your Miranda rights? Yes, I am familiar with... Can you, can you tell me uh, one of the Miranda rights? Uh, you have a, remi a right to remain silent. There have been contradictory reports. Uh, the police are saying that they were in the young lady's field of view when they tried to grab her. There have been other reports as saying that the officers approached her from behind. Quintero doesn't think the officer did run up beside her, like Acevedo said. I think he grabbed her slightly from behind, and it's, it may not be from far behind, but enough to where she didn't notice who was grabbing her right away. So if you were out jogging, you got your headphones in, you're a single woman alone, and somebody just grabbed you from behind, what would your reaction be? I would have kept running. Um, all I heard, I read, was that she didn't see them coming and they grabbed her from behind. Whether or not he grabbed her by behind, it doesn't matter. It's not relevant. At some point, she knows it's a cop. If somebody was to grab you from behind for any reason, what would your reaction be? Um, definitely do exactly what she did, you know, kick right. their ass. <laughs> uh, excuse me, miss, you were jaywalking there for a second? I gotta go to class, I'm sorry. Okay, so she has to go to class, and that's a good reason to jaywalk. Uh, I just want you to know you get arrested by the Austin Police Department. And let me ask you about some comments that the police chief made. Yeah. He said that, you know, the big controversy of last week was that a jogger was arrested, you know, for failing to identify. He says, in comparison, in other cities, you have officers who are actually sexually assaulting people. So does that concern you at all, that the bar has been set kind of low? He, he, he later came back and, you know, took back those comments. But do you think that's a good place to set the bar? No, you sh <laughs> this has nothing to do with sexual assault. You can't compare that. Now, he has later come back and rescinded those comments, but do you think that's kind of a bad place that's to set That's a great report. Right, we're, start we're out of time on this segment. We're going to be right back, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that. We're also going to take your calls about what we were talking about earlier about the family.
If you got calls about uh, Ukraine or anything, we'll be taking those calls right after the break with Jakari Jackson. We'll be right back. Renaissance Charge. Have you ever wondered if you can make your car run on 100% electric power for free? Is it now possible? How about a device that is both a super efficient motor and a free energy generator at the same time? What if this device could also restore useless batteries and save you lots of money? The Renaissance Charge Cutting Edge Alternative Energy Tesla Technology. Visit r-charge.com. That's r-charge.com, 208-772-4514. CamTeamShop.com provides the best in hard-tested gear for survival, prepping, bushcraft, and everything outdoors. And we're the only place you'll find stainless steel canteen kits, unique gear from the Paracord Guy, and zombie tinder fire starters all at one easy-to-use website. Check out the Preppers Pack and see our custom knives, tarps, EDCs, and more. It's the best gear available with unbeatable customer service. 216-410-5096 or visit CamTeamShop.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten and free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. I'm joined here in studio with Jakari Jackson. We're filling in for Alex Jones today. There's a lot of breaking news today. You know, we see that uh, yet another sailor has come forward talking about how his exposure at Fukushima has ruined his health. It's now up to 100 solar soldiers or, and sailors here or there. They uh, said that they didn't know. This is what CBS said. They didn't know that they were heading into the path of a radiation plume. Really? I don't know. I think somebody knew about that. 
They said now three years after the exposure, at least 100 of those first responders are suffering from unexplained illnesses like cancer, leukemia, bleeding, and hair loss. We had one of those sailors on the program. Alex talked to him at length. A very sad situation, but we've seen over and over again a total disregard, whether it's depleted uranium, whether it's Agent Orange, the government doesn't treat soldiers with the respect that they should have for them. In many cases, they treat them worse than they do chimpanzees because they've even said in some cases that they're cheaper than pen chimp chimpanzees. Uh, also, Google fears that the FCC's new internet powers are going to affect even Google. And we've just seen just the last week how the FCC was going to intrude itself into newsrooms. Everybody was concerned about that. They said content is none of your business, but the FCC is making it their business. And now the fears are that they're going to do a backdoor content management on the internet using the same kind of justification that they were trying to get with SOPA. We've had SOPA, we've had PIPA, we've had CISPA rejected twice. Now it looks like they're going to try to just do it with the FCC. You know, that's kind of, Jakari, that's kind of like uh, Obama has done this in the past, hasn't he? You know, he's, mm -hmm. he's always come in and uh, just said, well, this is the year of action. We're just going to go around Congress. If we can't get uh, internet censorship, internet control passed by Congress, no, just, I'm sure we can just, just do the FCC. Stuff, gun stuff. War, oh, yeah, war. whatever. If that's I can't right. get Congress to sign on, I'm just going to, I got my pen, I got my telephone. That's how I'm going to do it. That's right. We've also got uh, the FBI says that they had human source contact with bin Laden as far back as 1993. This is an exclusive from the Washington Times. But, you know, this is not a surprise. This is something that Sibel Edmonds blew the whistle on. She tried to get the 9-11 Commission to pay attention to this, and, of course, they gagged her. Uh, that's how she got the title of the most censored woman in history, a whistleblower who was at the FBI, and she knew that they were in contact with bin Laden leading up to 9-11. We've said over and over again that bin Laden was deeply tied, deeply tied to the CIA. He was their guy, just as they turn against Manuel Noriega and others. And then also, we've got some planned food safety rules now coming from the FDA, again, not from the legislature, not being passed as laws, but regulations. These regulations would essentially ban organic farming. They would ban practices that have been performed by farmers for millennia yeah. using natural organic fertilizer, using animals to plow a field. No, you can't do that. You've got to buy your fertilizer from the pharmaceutical companies and exactly. big agra. So we're going to be taking your calls on that. But before we do, I want to tell you that this hour is brought to you by My Patriot Supply. You know, we're seeing attacks on our freedoms like never before, but we can secure our independence by breaking free from the confines of their systems of control. The path to liberty starts with attaining a level of self-reliance. And My Patriot Supply is the home of a wide array of survival products, including the Patriot Pantry line of emergency food storage products, it's delicious, nutritious, and prepares in minutes. They offer amazing variety, great taste, and packaged to last for up to 25 years. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex to experience their top-rated customer service, top-quality products, incredibly reasonable prices. The products you need, the service you expect, and the price you can afford, visit MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today. That's how we support our operation. We're listener-supported. We're we appreciate if you patronize those people who, who support us, who sponsor us. Now, we've got some uh, calls on the line. But before we go to that, uh, Jakar, you've got some updates on some articles. Some various, some various yeah. uh, stories about self-defense. You know, all about the Second Amendment and self-defense. But I want to talk briefly about that uh, the FDA article where they said they don't want to have organic farming and so forth. We've seen the, the raids on the raw milk facilities mm -hmm. and on people who have their own uh, farms and so forth. And this is a very important issue because, you know, we do have some victories like with Subway saying that they want to take or they're going to take the, uh, what do you call that, the yoga mat material out yeah. of, the, of the breads and things like that. That happened and, very quickly. Yes, yeah, so that's a yeah. good victory, but we also need to get behind these these organic farmers because this is the food that you need to be eating. And if these guys get shut down, all it's going to be is GMO. So it's a very important issue. That's right. And just earlier this week, I talked to Mark Baker, Baker's Green Acres, He's a farmer in Michigan, and the pig association there is basically coming after the farmers who are raising heritage pigs. They're saying that they're feral. Mm. And he's been fighting that on his own for almost three years now. We're going to be right back after the break, and we're going to take your phone calls. Tell us what you think. 
whether it's the Ukraine or the FDA cracking down on our food supply. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We're on the mark.